Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Today I will be discussing about AAI ATC examination. Today the date is 14th of July 2025. I gave this examination in the first shift and the timing was uh, 9 am to 11 am. Before moving towards the paper discussion, I would like to share that I gave this examination uh, last year also, not last year exactly. It was scheduled in December 2023. I had, I scored, had scored 97 marks in that examination. And unfortunately, I was not able to clear the cutoff as cutoff was 104 marks. Uh, my sectional score was uh, 30 marks in quant reasoning and uh, 13 marks in uh, English. And uh, in GS, it was 4 marks and in technical, it was 48 marks. Overall, my score was 95 and after normalization, I scored 97 marks. Now coming back towards the today's examination. So I was in first shift and uh, I reached the center at around 8 a.m. in the morning. And uh, after all the security checking, all those stuff were done. What I observed is that there was a, a slight change in the order in which they give the questions. Means before this, they used to give the English language as the first section, then quant reasoning and at last it was GS and the second part was the technical. But this time, uh, the paper started with the GS section. But I started with the English language. It was given, I think, on the fourth section. So I did English language and the overall English section was comparatively on easier side as compared to the uh, last time the paper was held. So I think uh, means most of the questions were pretty straightforward. One of the basic questions were for the usage of A or N. Uh, once in a million short, it was something like that. And one trickier question was, uh, uh, we have to name the person who used to walk on the ropes. I just guessed one of the options and uh, fortunately my option was correct. Apart from it, there were four questions from the RC and the RC was straightforward, not complex as it was in, uh, as it was in the last held examination. Mm -hmm. And apart from it, some grammatical questions were there, two questions related to uh, parajumbles and uh, one error de detection and the overall paper for the English section, it was on easier side, no doubt. Uh, thereafter, I used to attempt a reasoning section so in the reasoning section also, all the questions were pretty straightforward, uh, except one question. Uh, it was trickier for me, maybe for you guys, it was easy. Uh, there were four options given and four letters were given. We, were, we had to pick odd one out, out of those four. After doing lots of calculation, this, that thing, uh, taking gap between the letters, all those stuff. I concluded with one of the option and maybe it is correct. Now coming towards the quant section, the quant section was also on the easier side and uh, except few questions means two, three questions. One of the questions was uh, related to compound interest. It, it's, it was a kind of lengthy question for calculation part. Uh, the question was something like that uh, a person has to do the down payment for his house and uh, he has to give a down payment of five lakh rupees but uh, he want to invest a certain amount for four years at the rate of 5% compound interest so that this overall amount become 5 lakhs up after the four years. So we have to calculate what uh, initial amount he should invest. So those who know they can calculate means I use the basic approach. It was a lengthy and uh, answer overall came out. It was something like uh, 4 lakh 11 sound, uh, 4 lakh 11 sound, thousand something something. And uh, apart from it, one question in quant was there. I was not able to solve it at that point of time. Maybe means I was not able to crack the thing behind it. Uh, it was something related to 50 rupees paint, uh, 70 rupees paint and 100 rupees paint. These three varieties of paint was purchased by a shopkeeper and he mixed all these and uh, sold the mixture at uh, rupees 100 at a profit of 25% means the CP would be 80 rupees. And uh, in the option it was asked that if the third variety is uh, a third variety is 10 liters, then 
what cannot be the uh, quantity of first variety of paint so it was a tricky question uh, it was basically based on the inequality at that moment i was not able to crack it down and uh, those who have done uh, good and those who want to know the answer for this then the, its answer would be coming out to be 7 i guessed is its answer as 5 which is wrong and uh, yeah means overall this uh, part was done it was also on easier side now coming towards the gs so gs is uh, kind of unexpected thing but for me uh, i was able to crack five questions around five questions um, let's discuss one by one so one question was related to the amendment of constitution which articles give uh, power to the parliament for the amendment of constitution it is a kind of a straightforward question those who have read polity it's pretty simple question for them those who are new means for me i had read polity but uh, there are lots of articles to remember uh, two three days back i saw two three videos related to gs bulk of questions were given and in one of them uh, the person discussed this article so the article is article 368 uh, now coming towards the second question it was like uh, which of the following is the tributary of Ganga uh, options were very easy means uh, this question could have been made difficult but the three options given were for the rivers of south and only one option was the correct one and it is Yamuna river and uh, now coming to the next question uh, one question was there uh, it was related to some kind of award award related to hospitality and uh, education in the first go i picked the wrong option but i marked it for review to cross verify at last uh, then after uh, means i had seen this question before in one of the videos so using my subconscious mind i picked the correct one and its answer would be something uh, option was given as dr bose and his initial name only one option was there in which uh, the prefix of doctor has been used so it was correct and uh, one question was asked related to a 19 year old chennai based us girl she won an award so it was asked what was the award so uh, i picked the award of kalinga which is if anyone is guessing also then it's very blindly wrong thing but uh, I just guessed, guessed it out as Kalinga, but it its correct answer would be Miss India USA 2024. Yeah, one more simple question was given that uh, why did the agriculture thing declined after 1991? So if you have a brief idea of uh, economy, then in year 1991, uh, the triple P model was introduced by government. So I picked the answer of that uh, uh, service based sector thing is uh, was increasing it was one of the option and um, in i think it's the correct option uh, one more straightforward question was there it was asked that what's the width of india from east to west uh, unfortunately i picked the wrong one the correct answer would be around 2800 kilometers and uh, one question was asked related to a particular artist i can't remember his name and four options were given it was kind kind of out of the box question uh, one more straightforward question was asked related to polity who is the head of union as executive so i was confused between prime minister and president then i picked president i think it's the correct answer uh, i think i have covered around six to seven questions of the gs two three question i am not able to recall right now Maybe you can write in the comment section those remaining three questions. Uh, so yeah, the GS was done. And uh, one thing you can notice uh, this year particularly that in the GS section, most of the questions were related to the current affair side. And the static part was quite missing means one, two questions were obviously there. They didn't ask anything related to history, ancient, modern or medieval. Uh, one of the favorite topics of ATC is the um indus valley civilization so none of the questions were asked from that particular domain and uh, yeah that's all for the non-tech now coming towards the technical part so technical part was kind of easy to moderate level 
means some of the questions were really very straightforward especially in the physics section like one of the questions was asked that uh, angle of incidence in a uh, plane mirror is 30 degree with respect to normal then what would be the angle of reflection this is a very simple question and uh, apart from it few more questions were there but one new thing introduced here was that some questions were asked that which of the following is incorrect so this makes a question a bit trickier and uh, if i talk towards the mathematics then some of the questions were on lengthier side like one of the questions were given uh, uh, two 3d lines were given and they were skew lines and the distance between them was asked i think its answer would be around uh, 2 root 29 it came out to be just like that so it's a kind of lengthy question because you have to do the cross product and all those formula stuff thing and uh, one question more related to cross product was asked that which of the following would be a vector of particular magnitude which is perpendicular to uh, two of the given vectors so in this also you have to apply the cross product and uh, talking towards to some theoretical questions uh, questions related to uh, one graph question was given a graph of stress strain curve was given and the fracture point was asked so it's a kind of a straightforward question if you have seen the graph once in your life and uh, one question related to bernoulli equation a kind of theoretical theoretical question related to surface tension one factual question to related to uh, that gravitation chapter in which uh, the time period would be 24 hours and 24 hours time periods are called a uh, geospatial satellite if i'm not uh, wrong means maybe the word is something else i can't recall right now and um, yeah means uh, for calculation part there were few questions but some questions were really very tricky so in physics one of the tricky question was related to work energy theorem so basically if you know about work energy theorem then it's a kind of straightforward but uh, what genuinely happens is we used to apply our common sense difference of dash energy is equal to work done so the options were uh, internal energy mechanical energy potential energy and kinetic energy so by using common sense one would say that it should be mechanical energy but the correct answer is kinetic energy and uh, yeah the questions were like this only some questions were really very easy some questions were trickier uh, one of the questions uh, related to determinants were asked uh, it was for a four cross four matrices uh, sorry for a four cross four matrix uh, the row column operations and multiplication things were done i was not able to solve at that particular moment means i had not revised this particular thing of changing the row column so i just blindly guessed it as minus 12 as the answer and uh, one question related to permutation and co combination one means a kind of very beautiful question a set uh, k is given as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 means seven elements and pi was representing uh, the set of four elements where i will denote the number of uh, odd numbers so you have to do the selection part means there are four even number and three odd number and it was asked what will be the summation of pi from i is equal to 1 to 4 so after calculation one can solve question related to argument of a complex number straightforward question was given and uh, yeah things were just like this two questions related to statistics were asked one was the very straightforward related to mean and the other was related to mean and median so in the morning actually i thought to revise the statistics but i didn't revise so i was able to do one question but in the second i'm not pretty confident uh, one question related to arithmetic mean and geometric mean was also asked and a question related to geometric uh, progression means it was given that uh, summation of n terms a is equal to something b is equal to multiplication of these n terms and one by first term plus one by second term whole summation was something as b or c and the relationship was asked between these three terms so it's a kind of tricky question i was not able to solve i just blindly guessed it and uh, yeah uh, 
and question related to permutation i have already discussed mm. uh, just after giving the examination means just after submitting i think after 2 minutes i realized that i did a mistake in one of the very basic question of physics a question related to electrostats was asked that uh, a spherical shell is given with inner radius r1 and outer radius r2 it was asked that what will be the electric field if a point is taken in between the outer radius and inner radius means just in between it so at that point of time means we all have read that uh, inside uh, shield the electric field is zero this that thing but uh, i don't know what happened at that point of time i was thinking in the different dimension and i just picked the wrong answer the correct answer would be just exactly zero and why it would be zero then the physics lies uh, behind the electrostats of conductors one more question was there uh, it was related to uh, combinations uh, permutation and combination uh, a seven letter word was given we have to choose four words uh, sorry we have to choose four letters from those seven letter seven letter word and we have to make four letter words with or without meaning so it was asked how many words can be made so just by mistake or just maybe due to exam pressure or something like that i did silly mistake here so in these two questions i made blunder and uh, apart from it in four five questions i uh, used uh, guess work and the remaining part is yeah means on the easier side so i am expecting a score of uh, 95 plus uh let's see after the answer key that how much marks i'll be getting in this examination uh if you remember any new questions related to gs or some question you want to discuss then just comment it down and also share your experience how you felt in the examination how was your approach and these things i'll be posting a poll on the community tab uh you can uh, mark that how much marks you are expecting in this examination If you have any doubts just comment it down means doubts other than these things I'll be replying to each and every comment and uh, see you in the next video bye वायु गति से युद्ध करे और अर्जुन के जब तीर चले जब तीर चले गांडी वैसे तो ना वीर दिखे ना तीर दिखे फिर वीर शूर वीर कोई भिड़े वो पल पल मृत्यु से ही डरे वो कांपे थर थर सामने मंजर मंजर मृत्यु का ही दिखे महादेव को भी जो कर दे प्रसन्न है भुजा में ऐसा बाहु बल वो रूप से मोहित कर दे उर्वशी बुद्धि से भी चतुर चपल हुआ ना जग में धन और धारी जो धनंजय को कर दे परास्त वो शब्द भेदी साधे बाण ऐसे अंधकार में भी कर दे तखा खा आर पार कर बार बार जब जब सुने युद्ध की ललकार और एक बार मिले आवाहन फिर तो होता नरसंहार भारत पे संग ले नारायण ध्वजा पे बिठाए मारुति दी धर्म की रक्षा की खातिर अपनों के प्राणों की आहुति